Good morning, I'm Hayley Hassel and welcome to Newsround. Hello, I'm Hayley Hassel and here's all the news for you today. I'm Hayley and I'm live from Westminster in London. We're bringing you the latest results from the general election. You see Radio 5 Live, the voice of the UK, Hayley Hassel. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. You're with me, Hayley Hassel, till 5am this morning. And we're kicking off talking about this. BBC Sounds, music, radio, podcasts. Nearly 20 years after being locked up in Holloway Prison, Tracy Felstead relives her time inside like it was yesterday. She tells me harrowing stories of her incarceration and how the experience has left an indelible mark on her life. They had it set in their mind that this money had gone and I had taken the money and that was it. Hayley Hassel is at the Athletes Village for us this morning. Hayley, morning to you. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Yes, and welcome to the special Olympics Village here in Sheffield. Now, we've had thousands of athletes milling around this morning. There they are with some mascots already full of the joys. This is Hayley Hassel investigates Britain's claims culture. Clearly, people get ill when they're on holiday, but the amount of claims that are coming from this island means there's either been a food poisoning epidemic of massive proportions or something else is going on. Social media companies mm. are doing to protect children online from grooming or incidents like this. Yeah, and do they have a responsibility? Mm. I suppose the internet is a massive place where anyone has freedom to post anything they like, but YouTube have said that there are no reports of these pop-ups actually happening. But if you see one, you can report it. And they do have a duty, if they see anything harmful, to remove it. The question is whether that's too late once you've already seen it, but that's all they can do at this moment in time. Good evening and welcome to Northwest Tonight with Hayley Hassel and Roger Johnson. Now, there could be good news for thousands of aerospace workers here, with the government pledging an extra £300 million investment. It's that magical time of year. It's Christmas! Up and down the UK, in towns and cities, families are gearing up for that big special day. They're buying presents, eating and drinking, and generally making merry. Welcome, Welcome to, to Christmas, Christmas City. City. I'm on the road with Trading Standards Officer Carl Jones. We're on the way to a shop that could be selling counterfeit alcohol is that when someone makes a personal injury claim they are starting a legal process which if contested can prove their undoing. I've come to see President Donald Trump's new border wall and find out what it's really like to live with this border. How dangerous is this area for migrants? Are they putting them, their lives at risk? Have the all-inclusives had much impact on businesses around here? Yeah, a huge effect. Really? I used to have my own restaurant before running this place and I lost it about 2010 went partly because of the all-inclusive. So you're telling me that hotels were sometimes making money from people getting ill? Yes, I know that for a fact. I decided to ring a local independent travel agent. Three, five, sixty. So it definitely pays to shop around when you're booking your all-inclusive holiday. But I'm really surprised to find out that the cheapest deal I got was from a local travel agent. What was it? I mean, it's the sort of shop that I'd stop at as I was driving yeah. past and get yeah. something, and I wouldn't think anything of it at all. Anything of it at all, but a lot of them are like that, to be honest with right. you. Right. In 2007, I worked undercover in hospitals to investigate the state of maternity care in Britain. I found services stretched to the limit, with a shortage of midwives and equipment. Too much workload with the high-risk women. Too many patients, not enough support staff. Crying out there. Sorry? She's crying. Who's crying? The woman who's waiting for the bed. What's her age? It was Hayley who was first to get work. Should I have had some like, training in that or something? You would get swatched a video and you should get, I guess we should be tra training you up because we've got so many cars and cat. Train you up properly, so we're just going to have to just watch and grasp it. I like having people at different times. Oh, it's awful, sitting waiting, you know, half past eleven. I need 12 o'clock sometimes. I still get hungry sometimes because my mum can't afford to buy like proper food and like, sometimes you could wake up in the night because you're so hungry. If you being hungry once, there's no doubt that it would obviously happen again. Does that worry you? Does it worry you that you don't know when you're next going to eat? Or that you don't it know worries, when yeah, because like, you don't know if you haven't eaten in a while. It feels like a pain shooting through your belly. So because they're hungry, they're actually turning to crying? Well, some of them do, but it's not, they're not uh, stealing sweets and chocolate and chewing gum. They're actually going out and stealing bread and food for themselves and the family. 
you've been a great help. You've, you've saved me from myself uh, with your discussions tonight or this morning. That's amazing to hear, Mike. And thank you so much for calling. It's been so lovely to hear from you. BBC Radio 5 Live. The voice of the UK. Hayley Hassel.